Hello, everybody. This is Ben Hansen from MinMax. I'm here to check out the new Final Fantasy VII trailer, give my raw reactions. We'll scrub through afterwards and actually take a look and dissect it a little bit more. But I've seen the first images of this, and then I realized i got to pause the thing and actually get a real honest take from MinMax here. So without further ado, here's the new Final Fantasy VII trailer. What did you want to talk about? When spring comes, I'm leaving town. I'm going to Midgar. I'm going to be a soldier. The best of the best. Like Sephiroth. This ponytail is so cute. <laughs> Tell me. Is it really you? Are we on schedule? Please, Mr. President, I am asking you to reconsider. No begging. Uh, Director Twisty. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. Mako super saturation confirmed. Engaging materia cooling to reduce temperature. Are we in director? Voice? You have a meeting shortly. Stop. Your timing is impeccably atrocious. Oh dear. Oh dear. A man of my refined taste running out of butter. <laughs> Seems important to Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. True beauty is an expression of the heart. A thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Perfection. Not a word. Cloud's blood. Not even stare. one? No! But you're so pretty! Today's right to be is. Today's? Pathetic. Huh? Which one of you said that? You Cloud got a mouth on enough. you! <laughs> well, aren't we having a wonderful time kicking the hornet's nest? You know what I want. A second dance. Just the two of us. So what the hell is it? Oh my god, right there, Dave! Fascinating question. Uh, did it just talk? I am that which you see before you. Nothing more. Ah! Dead boys? Ah! A touching reunion. So fun. Very, very good. And thus is the hypothesis proven correct. I can only hope you will continue not to disappoint. <laughs> He's got his weird thunder. <laughs> He's getting tired of playing tag anyway. Come on. Avalanche ain't Wu Tao or anybody, fucker! No, we're here to rescue Aerith, song, remember? So much better. We don't need more attention than what we're gonna get. Yeah, I hear you. I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living agent on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra's scientists. This is... The source of everything. Genova. Wait a minute. Where are we? On the ship? Suck on this! The Shinra Electric Power Company isn't the real enemy. I promise you, there's a much bigger threat. I just want to do everything in my power to help all oh of you God. and the planet. You know, maybe that delay is worth it. Okay, there is a lot to unpack here. Uh, okay, that first... So it's called the theme song trailer because of Hollow... By Umatsu. Interesting. Even, okay, let's start with this right here, right? So when they released comes, an I'm image of town. Tifa, like, looking I'm up at the stars here. And so everyone's like, oh, does it mean that the game actually goes forward in time a little bit more than we expected? Are we going to see clouds past here? Does it actually extend into calm where you would see this? Because this seems part of clouds past. I know it is literally clouds past. We're trying to figure out, like, it's in that same chunk right and so i wonder if they just because they're introducing sephiroth earlier although there's a line here from cloud that makes it seem like okay it's not really you which is nice um there's just some twisted version of sephiroth that cloud's seeing and whatnot 
so maybe they just needed to set up like Cloud's history with Sephiroth a little bit because of that. So they're going to shoehorn this in. Like honestly, there's an. It is not unreasonable to have this just be like at the very start of the game, even although they can't mess with the opening. But I don't know where. Maybe like you go to Seventh Heaven, you meet Tifa, and then you sleep or something. And then while you're asleep, uh, they play this. Something like that. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. Let's let's scrub through. This. All of this stuff is interesting. Uh, who is this lady? I know they're going to add new characters and stuff. Okay, fantastic. The butter scene, you got to have it. I can't wait for him to get hit by a truck. Butter. <laughs> was it all a dream? Welcome to the honeybee. And I love that, like, the tone of the trailer is just all over the place. Like, well, we got to show off the honeybee end. Like, they kind of teased the build up before. A thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. And it's interesting to try and like, hey, own it, Cloud. Which I'd be more into Oof. if Cloud had any expression <laughs> whatsoever here. But he's like a doll. Uh, but you know what? Hopefully that character ends up being interesting and that that scene isn't uh, too cringy. Uh, okay. Shinra stuff, Shinra stuff, Honey Bee in. I love, like, this is the stuff that gets my juices flowing. Not, a word. Not even one? No. It's just walking around so Wall Market pretty. seeing these Today's buildings from the outside. Like, this is what it's actually going to be like to play the game. Obviously not in the dress the entire time, but getting to explore that? That sounds so fun. Uh, okay. Like, I think my biggest concern is still what's on Cloud's face right now um, and going throughout this trailer is every time there's dialogue, it's like, I don't know. That's right. Recent Square Enix. Uh kind of the writing i think the performances don't really do it for me um but that said i do like Are this you? bit here <laughs> well aren't we having a wonderful time kicking the hornet's nest like, that, that sounds fun a second dance just the two of us like that guy i forget his name uh he's a new character obviously uh but they they revealed it before at some point uh but he seems like he has a lot of personality and so i'm on board for him Red 13, let's look at this little teddy bear. You want him to be this wizened so being. Is? Okay. A fascinating question. Oh, did it just talk? I am that which you see before you. Nothing more. So the Red 13 saying, I am that I am. The glowing tail, I think that's like beautifully subtle. It's not full Charmander. It's like a cool smoldering. His fur looks so touchable. I worry about him... I guess I don't know what I wanted Red 13 to sound like, but he sounds like he could be little, little pompous for my likes. And I think he's kind of put in his place once he goes to Cosmo Canyon and you realize like, oh, he's just a little pup. Uh, okay, here we go. This entire scene too. There's so many scenes where I thought I had a good understanding of like, okay, it's just Midgar. They'll put Sephiroth earlier, stuff like that. But then there's shots in this where it's like, oh, this is going to be much more different than I expected. Uh, including just locations, right? Where it's like, okay, is this just like where you saw Genova? Because I don't think this is the ship, which would also imply that it's going further beyond Midgar. That's so confusing. But like maybe this is where you looked into the tube where in that room where Red 13 is. And then you saw like the Genova torso. Maybe that's what it's going for. Hojo's secret underground lair is fun. Let's see, is he looking at anything interesting? Okay, some pods in the lower left there. Uh, this is also interesting, like after the plate falls then, there's just a big battle sequence. Sure. Showing off the summons is very fun. This is maybe the most intriguing part of the whole trailer. This is the source of everything. You know okay, what? first of all, it's also, I like the idea that it seems to be empowering Aerith a little bit, where, like, she knows exactly what's going on. And she's always been, you know, she's cute and cheeky, but she knows more than she lets on. But here it seems like she's like, oh, no, no. Like, even the line at the end, like, Shinra is not the enemy here, everybody. Like, we're part of something greater, which is fun for her. So they're just, like, throwing in a Genova boss fight. But if you look around, like, this does not look like Midgar. Unless, no... It looks like, God, I don't know. 
I mean, they wouldn't throw like the Temple of the Ancients in before. And then maybe that's like where they... <laughs> I'm so confused about what's in this game. Okay, Barrett. Hey, hang on, this is uh, specific, but I'm very curious about this shot here. Hello. Look at this. Why is it... Oh, it's like a robot chasing them and it's kind of their vision. Because like, why does it look like butthole? The Shinra Electric Power Company isn't the real I think enemy. we're seeing so I much of the game. You. I almost wish I didn't watch this. Threat. I just want to do everything in my power to help. This is wild. I mean... Okay, so we just saw kind of saw wispy things before in trailers, but looking at like those figures in the lower left, these must must be like the Sephiroth clones then that they're then attacking. Maybe they're going to Shinra headquarters to like because of the Genova connection, because instead of just like the weird guys guys in hoods going oh reunion, maybe now they're just these flying dementors. <clears throat> really awesome trailer. And, you know, that theme song, it's hollow. You know, I'm curious how much that'll catch on and be like, oh, this is the defining song of the remake. But, I mean, I think the rest of the soundtrack is just so unbelievable so far. All the remixes we've heard. Mako, super saturation confirmed. Engaging materia cooling. So she's maybe associated with Hojo? Hey, like this? You have a meeting shortly. Stop. They just want to give you even more villains, like, so they can kind of space it out within Midgar, like who you're actually going up against? Maybe that's why they're trying to make President Shinra a bigger deal, just so, again, you have more antagonist early on since Sephiroth isn't really there. But then what is this Genova stuff? This is so wild. If you have a good read on what's going on, please leave a comment below. Uh, at the same time, I didn't look into, like, that data leak from the demo or whatever, so please don't spoil anything for me. I think it was probably hinting towards Red 13. I saw those headlines about it, but, uh, yeah, please don't spoil anything if you know something specific, but if you also want to piece some stuff together from the trailer, I would love to know what you see in this trailer that I missed, obvious connections that aren't exactly there, but it's still my most anticipated game of, of 2020. I, I can't wait to actually play it and just figure out the scope of this thing because it's so wild trying to piece together what they're doing and what they're changing and definitely the takeaway from this trailer is more than I expected um, they're still throwing in plenty of new characters what a wild rearrangement anyways thanks so much for watching this uh, reaction video uh, if you like Prophecy 7, there's a good chance you probably like Chrono Trigger. We're actually doing a Chrono Trigger Game Club discussion on MinMax's YouTube channel. You can find it there, where it is the most thorough discussion of that game you could possibly imagine. We broke it up into three chunks, and then we're playing it along with the MinMax community. If you're a Patreon supporter, you can leave a comment. And so we're just going through each chunk. We just posted the middle, which is from the end of time up until the Kingdom of Zeal. Exhausting detail. It's wonderful. And if you like Prophecy 7, uh, back when I was at Game Informer, uh, we posted a big Game Club discussion about that. So it's like five or six hours of us talking about Prophecy 7 as a big Game Club discussion with the community. So you can find that over on Game Informer's channel. But we're definitely going to do the deepest dive, which is what we call our Game Clubs here at, at uh, MinMax. We're definitely going to do that on the Prophecy 7 remake. I don't care what people say. It'll happen. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Check out other stuff. Bye, everybody. From in-depth game club discussions with the community to live streams every single week, weekly podcasts, exclusive videos, everything under the sun is at patreon.com slash minmax2ends. Check it out, everybody.